I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but God wants you to get your joy back. You see, the enemy is after your joy. And if you literally walk around being anxious and depressed, guess what? You give him the victory. The number one job of the enemy is to stop you. So if the enemy cannot stop you, his job is to distract you. And that's just as good. OK, see, I'm at a complete stop right now. That's what the enemy wants to do to you in your life. But if you choose to keep pushing forward and keep going, keep going, keep going. See, the enemy sees you getting momentum and keeping going forward. Right. But if he can distract you and get you off of the trail and get you way over here in the bushes. That's just as valuable. Why is that? Because you're not on the plan that God has for you. You're not following and seeking God, right? But see, all it takes is a word just like this. All it takes is just one word, right? To say, oh yeah, that's right. I need to get back on the right track. I need to get back centered in God's word. I need to make a commitment to reading God's word daily. I need to literally lock in on God because see, he created you. God gave you your own fingerprint. God been doing this way before you were born. God is literally in your future. He has it already mapped out. And what God needs you to do is submit to his will and continue walking with him. Too often we walk with God for a little while, everything going good. And what we want to do, we want to go do our own thing. We want to go over here in the bushes. Then you mess up again. And God draws you back. See, it's a repeating process until we finally get it and, and we keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Many people are caught up trying to build their own kingdom instead of building the kingdom of God. Don't get caught up doing your own thing over there because at the end of the day, you got to remember your purpose. Your purpose is to worship him. Your purpose is to glorify him with what? With your time, talents, your gifts, your possession, your money, any and everything that's tied to you should glorify him. What does that look like in the natural? <laughs> right now, this walk is to glorify him. <laughs> it's to glorify him. Just spend time talking with God. Just spend time thinking about the word. The Bible says in Joshua uh, chapter one, verse eight, it says meditate on the word day and night. So that tells us we need to constantly be pondering on the word, thinking about the word, because see the word, it frames your day. If I read a scripture early in the morning, Oh, man, it's going to be a good day because every day I'm framing what I see based on that word. Just like when you go to the doctor. I'm sorry, not the doctor. When you go, uh, what's the name of the people? Eye appointment. They give you some glasses and it helps you see things different when you leave out of there. You're like, man, I never saw that before. Or, or that text is darker. That font is bolder. I can read this line. I used to only be able to read this word. Now I can read the whole thing. What happened? You got a new prescription and God wants to give you your daily prescription because you never know what's ahead of you. You never know what's coming around the corner. But if you got the right prescription on, right, God can give you those spiritual eyes to see what it is that you're supposed to see and say, oh, I see how that booby trap is set up right there. Lord, I just pray that boom, 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 boom. And guess what? <laughs> you winning, huh? That's what God wanted in the first place. He just wants you to seek him and get them spiritual eyes for each and every day so that you can stay the course and stop getting off trail. And listen, on your journey, when it comes to following God, you're going to see many people wandering off over there. And it may appear as if they're doing better or if they're having more fun or if they're doing this or they're doing that. Right. But that's a trick of the enemy. You stay the course, boy, and you focus on your race. This is your life. You got to stand face to face with the Lord and give an account at the end of the day, right? You keep on following God. Jeremiah 2 and 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a bright future. You got a good life. You better keep following God because that's following God is better than anything you could go do in the world. I promise you it is. Choose to follow God. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the word. I will always follow God. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.